CMS school says express bus stops fix both a driver shortage and funding shortfall. This was the best possible solution for us to meet the needs of the drivers that we have available, the budget that we're working with. Adam Johnson, the CMS executive director of transportation, took us on a ride to show us how long it would take to get from one express stop to a magnet school. In lunch hour traffic, it took about 14 minutes. Johnson said it will be a longer trip once the school year starts. But what's a solution for CMS is a problem for thousands of parents. I heard from some families that said, you know, we do have to go back to our home school. And we understand that, um, but we just want to make sure we can get this off the ground and make sure we can get service to all of the students that were responsible for transporting. Eileen Soper is one of those CMS families who say they just can't make CMS Express stops work. I'm a single parent. I work full time. I have two children who will be attending two different schools next year. Um, I will not be able to transport my child to and from an, one of the set express stops. She says CMS is creating a problem in the quest to solve one. So what you're going to be doing with these magnet programs is creating segregation academies. And I call them segregation academies because the people who will be able to send their children there are either able to drive their children to and from a, a bus stop, meaning they may have a stay-at-home parent or a parent with enough flexibility with their work schedule that they can provide that service, or they're going to be able to pay someone to take their children to and from school. She also says it places unreasonable burdens on working parents, and it may affect the diversity of the magnet schools. It's a countywide magnet. That means countywide transportation. Um, and if you can't guarantee that a child is going to get to school safely, then you haven't done your job. I don't care whether you're the Board of Education, whether you're the superintendent of schools, or whether you're the head of the transportation department. Soper says she either needs another answer or her child won't be going to the magnet program she's enrolled in now.